Hello, welcome back to Menacing MTG. Tonight we have a mono white budget deck, continuing on the uh, theme of winning with budget decks. Um, this deck has two rare cards in it, which are optional, totally optional. Um, but the idea is there's 12 creatures in here, and you attach enchantment auras to them, and you have instant spells that protect them and you come in and you kill the opponent quickly. So I'm just going to run right through this deck. So the creatures are Alced of Life's Bounty, an enchantment creature. It's a 1-1 one, one lifelink creature for one white mana. And its ability is that you can sacrifice it and protect another creature or enchantment um, from a color of your choice. So if, if uh, the opponent's coming in with a murder spell to kill the healer's hawk and it has some equipment attached to it, you can pay one mana and sack Alced and protect it for this turn. Okay, so there's four of those. This can also be the vehicle that you're attaching things to. It's not the optimum vehicle. As a matter of fact, it's the least optimal of the 12. Uh, Glaring Aegis. Uh, there's four of everything in here, so I'm just not going to say that anymore. Um, it's a enchantment aura, and it is a one drop, and it, it gives creature plus one plus three, and uh, when it comes on the board, you can tap an opponent's creature. Um, God's willing, an instant target creature you control gains protection from the color of the choice of your choice till the end of the turn and you get to scry one for healer's hawk really the optimal card right here it's a one one with flying and lifelink kind of everything you need you just need to get it bigger and vigilance and it does it'll it'll carry you all the way um four of these Karametra's blessing this is uh another the other um instant spell that protects your creatures along with God's willing. It also is a one drop and it's tremendous value because your creature gets plus two plus two to the end of turn if it's an enchanted creature. That means if there's already an aura on it, then um, it also um, gains hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. So this will not protect a healer's hawk or Elsed or um, ginger brew alone. It has to have a an aura attached to it already so important to know but if somebody's you know hitting you with a shock then putting this on it makes it a three three and therefore saves it so um, sentinel's eyes okay this is a one drop gives your creature plus one plus one and gives it vigilance which is great because as these get big they're great as blockers um, solid footing enchantment aura that gives your creature plus one plus one and, uh, and vigilance oh no as long as it has vigilance it assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power now there's four enchantments that give your creatures vigilance I'm sorry eight four of two things one is sentinel's eyes and the other is sentinel's mark we'll talk about that in a second so solid footing not only gives it plus one plus one but gives it vigilance and allows it to attack with its uh, toughness rather than power. And there's so there's eight cards in here that bump up toughness more than power, making them more resilient to uh, red spells that do a certain number of damage rather than destroy. For Ginger Brutes, this is a one drop with haste, so it can start doing damage immediately. Um, it also has the ability to pay one mana and it can't be blocked this turn except for creatures with haste. Uh, so here's probably your number two vehicle for attaching auras to. So you want Healer's Hawk, next choice is Ginger Brute, and last choice is All Set. So um, then we start moving on to the heavies. So All That Glitters, this is the big card, really, the big aura, because you get your creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. So that includes Alced and all these other enchantments we have. So um, if you have, um, say, Sentinel's Eyes and um, Solid Footing, 
they each get plus one plus one, so that gives Ginger Brute three three. Then you drop all the glitters on it, and it gives um, plus one plus one for each itself and the other two. It gets plus three, so that be, makes it a six six Ginger Brute. Um, Sentinel's Mark. This you can flash in, so you, it doesn't have to um, come in in the main phase. Um, and you enchant creature, and it gets plus one, plus two, and has vigilance. But when you do play it in the main phase, it gets lifelink till the end of turn. Now, you know that Al said and Healer's Hawk already have lifelink, but it is a boost for Ginger Brute in a big way. Okay, so that's all the cards. Um, then we have a companion and Lurus. This is one of the two um, rare cards in the deck. Everything else is common and uncommon. Um, and Lurus is a companion, and for it to be the companion, everything in your deck has to have a converted mana cost of two or less, which this deck does. And um, if he's on the board, you can bring back one of those permanents, not the instance, but any or enchantment or creature per turn. Um, the kick with uh, companion is that he's in your hand, but he's off to the side. Um, and you have to pay three mana to move him formally into your hand so you can use him. Um, you can't use him before moving into your hand. So, for example, if you had three mana on the board and you want to move Luris into your hand rather than playing something, you can pay the three mana, he slides over into your hand proper, and then the next turn you could play him. So you have to pay the mana cost in addition to those three to get him accessible in your hand. But a powerful card. You can you only have 12 creatures in this deck. You could also make him the vehicle. Um, but he is much more valuable bringing things back from the graveyard. You know, this is vulnerable to sweeps. Um, so there's that. Um, then here's the other um, non-common or uncommon card. It's a rare card. And it is Castle Ardenvale. And it's worth getting. Um, I highly re recommend um, you get this card and Luris. It just gives depth to the deck um, and 19 planes. But Castle Ardenville, you can pay four mana and tap it and create a 1-1 one, one human creature token, which allows you to attach equipment. So if you've locked creatures and you have nothing but instants and enchantments in your hand, this is an option for you. You can bring this on and maybe uh, salvage the day. So there's the deck. It's the whole thing. It's simple. And it plays pretty darn easy. And the art is keeping a mana back so you can play God's Willing or Karametra's Blessing and protect your creature. Okay? So uh, I think we'll play a few games and I'll kind of explain how, how it works. And you'll see that. And this is a pretty effective deck for uh, a budget deck. So highly recommend you build it. You'll have fun with it. Okay, here we are, game one, and a uh, great hand here. Um, a little light on the enchantments and no instants, which is a slightly scary thing, but we do have Alicid and we have two mana, so we'll put the Hawk on first. Opponent goes first, which is a bummer. Ooh, it's white. Oh, boy. Looks familiar. Okay. Put the Hawk on. Okay, slightly different thing going on here. And that's to our advantage. So we put the mana on. And let's see what we're going to do here. I think that we're going to come right in here. Fortunately, he won't have. I think what we're going to do is put Alcet on the board and Glaring Aegis on the Hawk and come in with him. And we get to tap a creature. We will tap the hawk. Not that he's going to block with him. Alright, so we're off and moving. And right now Healer's Hawk is, has no protection. And this is tough because this guy... Um, this is going to be a race because this guy's putting 1-1 one, one counters on things and miraculously he put it on himself rather than 
Oh no, he only puts it on himself. Okay, that's good news. So no blocks. Okay. So we are looking for an instant here. We don't get it. Um, we're going to go ahead and put um, Sentinel's Mark on. And this will give him Vigilance, which is great. So he'll keep the Hawk from coming in and he keep the opponent from gaining life. Once again, we're very vulnerable, though. Okay. Now he's got Vigilance, so I, again, no Healer's Hawk. The fear is removal. We do not have any protection. And, okay. So he's going to bring the Pride Mate in, most likely. Yep. And... He's going to get big quick, and that's going to be scary. So when Al said we'll be a blocker at a key moment here. Um, but, okay, we got a land, which is great, but um, I can do some major damage here this turn. Um, And we're just gonna roll the dice here. It's kind of like all or none. Um, problem is that this guy can um, add life, and they're gonna come in big. We get to drop twelve down, and they're so they're gonna gain um, four life. They can he, he does his plus one. He can um, gain four life and everything gets big. And then they come in with everything and the hawk um, gets some lifelink. Um, so I can go after this guy here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Just get rid of the, um, the Johnny Planeswalker. Oh, and he sacks the bird. Um... The good news is that he can't come in with any of these creatures because this guy is so darn huge. Now, I don't have anything else to play here True at the moment. Stand. We certainly are hoping for something here. And you see, he's in a bit of a pinch here because playing anything means losing it. And he has nothing to stop me from killing the, the um, Planeswalker next turn. So he's going to come in and he's going to lose something here. So he'll gain a life by losing this from Daxos. And these guys will grow, but I'm happy to take this guy out. Ooh, indestructible. Okay, so he lives. Nice play. I do have 38 life, but he is big. All right, so... Um, even bigger, folks. Yikes, and I get to tap something. Um, it doesn't really matter. So at this point, we're, we have protection, what Al said, and um, we're going to come in and hit here. Oodles of land. And here's where those cards in the sideboard that I mentioned... Um, if I did mention that, <laughs> I don't think I did. Um, there's a couple of cards in the sideboard that are upgrades and um, that are rare cards that you might want to consider. Okay, they got another bird. These guys are all growing, but... Um, they don't have any removal, they're going to have a problem. And they don't come in. Oh boy. Okay. So what we're going to do is go like this. Yikes. Getting big, folks. And he, I think he's going to have to use the Healer's Hawk. He does. 
Meanwhile, I gain 19 life. Now, I know I have three more Hawks in this deck. So, no problem there. I think they've used two of theirs. They have. We're in very good shape here, but I'm really shocked he hasn't shown removal yet. These guys continue to grow. Nothing to block the hawk, though, this time. Oh boy, okay, so there's my protection. I can also use him to bump at the key moment. Um, he would bump him up to a 21-21 attacker. So we're just going to... I think we're going to bring the brute up. No, we're not going to, because if they run a sweep... I don't want to lose him. We'll come in with the flyer. They can't block him. They'll only last one more turn. I, I, they may do something foolish like come in with everything. Okay. Potential life gain if they have a creature. They do not. So I just take the biggest thing off the board. Or I could just go with Daxos, which is giving them their life gain at this point. I think that's what I'm going to do here. Because I have so much life, it really doesn't make any difference. So he's the best guy to get rid of. Takes away a big source of their life gain. Destroy tapped creature. See, now this is another reason that... Um, He's gonna he's giving up here. Okay, so there's a game. Pretty darn good, huh? Okay, we'll play another. Okay, here we are. Um decent hand, you know. Um not that thrilled with it, but it'll work. Two mana with the brute and solid footing to go right on, so he'll be able to come in. Nope, they put something on, so he won't be able to come in, and it is going to be a little problematic because um, he's a 1-2, so, um, yeah, no attacks. Do have a mana, though, so we can um, drop the Aegis on him and tap the Scorpion next turn. We'll see what they bring out. Okay, Witch's Oven, interesting. Let's hope that's all they've got. No bots. Okay. All right, so Planes comes up. We want to do a one drop so we have uh, God's Willing to protect the Brute. Come in swinging. Now the problem here is if they have Cauldron Familiar, which I'm guessing they do, um, they can announce him as an attacker against the Ginger Brute, which will call it, wreak havoc with me because he will never get into block. I don't have any trample. So that would undo us. So I want to take care of business as fast as possible here. That's just what I wanted because now I can still protect the brute but bring him put all the glitters on which is going to make him pretty potent here next turn can put two gods willing on and we're starting to do some real damage here oh boy so here's where this comes in protection from red Uh, white mana. Uh, nope. We don't need it. So there is a save. That would have stung very badly. Okay. So we've got blockers. And we're going to recoup some life and get some cards. Very nice. 
And this could be a handful. They're, they're going to want that cauldron familiar in hand as quickly as possible. Okay, we're currently up to a 9 attacking ability here. Oh no, I don't have, um, I don't have, uh, any vigilance yet. Okay. So, he's doing a good job here with this deck. It's causing grief for me with no trample. Be a nice thing for the sideboard to have something that gives trample. Oh boy, Mayhem Devil, okay. Yeah, uh, Cauldron Familiar is the only piece missing here. Okay, so he's looking to kill me. Unfortunately, he can't do that. Oh, this isn't going to protect him. I, it will protect him. Okay, good. Okay, there's a saving grace right there. And he gives up. And thank God, because I didn't have enough to kind of keep him at bay. But he must not have had the familiar or anything that was going to save him in short order. So there's a win. Tight game, though. There, That, that deck um, put us... Um, on edge because uh, you know they had a lot of small things that were just doing damage to us when they died so if they could have kept filtering those out you know I didn't have anything um, if I had the hawk that's where the hawk is so good because he can fly over most of that stuff okay folks so I hope you enjoyed this deck please uh, subscribe like uh, give me feedback if you have any color or uh, type of deck you'd like me to build, I'm kind of going to be doing, I think, a little more of the budget thing um, and maybe talking a little bit in a future video about um, cards to, you know, if you, as you get the um, currency in the game to get some more potent cards, some rares and mythics, you know, what is a good thing to buy, what's a value, something that's useful in a number of different decks. Um, so stay tuned. Um, and if you're a new player, um, I can be a bit of a guide for you. So, um, cause I, I have spent a lot of time being a budget player and, um, there it is. And, and on paper too, you know, I build paper decks and, um, have, uh, the sacrifice deck that you see pretty much exactly the same very similar um, in paper the um, with the mayhem devil kind of similar deck to what you were looking at going against us here so uh, this is a fun deck build it hope you enjoy it uh, stay tuned more videos coming up take care